Next up in the Cover 1 film room was linebacker Eric Stryker. Already a fan favorite, Stryker won the hearts of football fans across the country with an emotional post-draft speech. He went undrafted due to his measurables, but that same emotion and drive shown in that video is what made him a very productive player at the college level. This is what we're here to celebrate. And I'm going to get my shot, drafted or not. And you know how I've been through my whole life. I had to prove it. When, when at Arnwood, when Bowie got hurt, I came in. Did I let it go? Never let it go. I went to Arnwood. I mean, I went to college. Coach Mike can't believe me. I proved myself. But uh, I'm so happy that all y'all came to share this with me. And um, I know my mom and my dad are a little hurt. Some of y'all are hurt too. But I know that don't get caught up in the NFL mm -hmm. because we know the sun will rise on it. There's so much potential for me. And uh, I'm so happy for everybody to share this moment. And um, I'm, I'm crying because I'm not, I'm, I'm crying because I'm crying because I'm, I'm happy that all y'all came to share this with me. Stryker concluded his collegiate career with 118 solo tackles, 45 tackles for loss, and 22 and a half sacks. He played in an odd front system at Oklahoma, which is why he could carve out a role for himself in Rex Ryan's defense. His biggest asset is his pass rush ability. How effective he will be at the NFL level all depends on how he is used, as he doesn't have the prototypical outside linebacker size. He's 5'11", 227 pounds, and ran a 4'8", so he's sort of a safety slash linebacker. Luckily enough, that kind of role is popular nowadays and can be an asset in Rex Ryan's exotic looks. According to Pro Football Focus, in 2015, Stryker posted a 14.2 pass rush productivity rating from the outside linebacker position, which was good for 12th best in the nation. He finished with 7 sacks, 9 QB hits, 34 QB hurries, so a total of 50 QB pressures. That is more pressures than Leonard Floyd, Kamalea Correa, and even Shaq Lawson. Although he has average straight line speed, Stryker shows a very good first step when allowed to rush the QB. His quickness gave our very own Cyrus Quancho fits back in 2014. As mentioned, Rex Ryan will have to be creative with Stryker because he is not an every down player yet. Stryker doesn't have the strength or size to be a force versus the run. Rex will have to use run blitzes and stunts if Stryker is in the game like Oklahoma did here. that's because he doesn't quite have the ability to play versus the run consistently. But you can understand why the front office and coaches want this kid. The Ryan brothers love running exotic looks, pressures, and coverages. Stryker's ability to pressure the QB can be an asset in certain situations, like on this five-man pressure versus Clemson. The slot blitz opens up a lane for Stryker to get to the QB. Take a look at the many ways that Rex could use Stryker, much like he used Bill's coach Eric Smith a few years back. The presence of Smith as a rusher caused the left tackle to help, allowing the defensive end to get the sack. As an edge rusher, Stryker must be respected, and that will often open up interior players to get the sack, just like on the prior play. Against divisional opponents, Rex likes using odd looks like this 3-2-6 all-out blitz. Stryker could potentially fill any of these roles in obvious third down situations. He not only has quickness, but the uncanny ability to time the snap, which can come in handy when moving him around. Another exotic look that could work in Stryker's favor. This time Rex brings a blitz off the right edge. Much like Smith on the prior play, Stryker can cover some ground on zone blitzes. Here Oklahoma blitzes the slot corner and plays zone behind him. He wasn't asked to drop into coverage much because he was their best pass rusher, but he's fully capable.
Pats struggled against the Bills when they were in their 3-3-5 looks. The highlighted players are some positions where Stryker could be utilized. Much like Hughes and Lawson does on this play, Stryker reads passing routes from the outside in very well. Stryker has been getting reps at inside linebacker during OTAs and I think that is a great idea because inside backers in this scheme are asked to blitz a lot. In 2015, the Bills inside backers struggled getting to the QB. In certain game situations, Stryker could bolster the pass rush from the inside. But as you can see in this play diagram, inside backers are also asked to drop into coverage on those very same zone blitzes, something that Stryker is able to do because of his quickness and fluidity. A few years ago, tweeners like Stryker probably won't have much of a shot to make a roster. And I'm not saying that he will, but in this scheme, and with the trend of box safeties slash linebackers on the rise, Stryker has a good chance to make the team. His quickness and fluidity allow him to play multiple roles on passing downs, which I'm sure Rex and Rob love. Although the trend is to take big, quick safeties and move them to the linebacker position, Stryker's role won't be as big an adjustment. He already has the pass rush and loose hips to blitz or to drop into coverage. The offensive systems run by Josh McDaniels, Chan Gailey, and Clyde Christensen are spread attacks. Stryker is used to playing versus those type of schemes in the Big 12. As Stryker said, you can't teach heart, you can't teach hustle. You can't teach having a relentless motor that never, ever quits. Those are the traits that he'll be bringing to the Bills roster, and you can bet the city of Buffalo is rooting for him.